Todd McFarland, Image Comics co-founder, was with the rest of the Image Comics partners at I Like Comics in Vancouver, Washington, signing for fans. Todd McFarland is a writer, artist, creator, publisher. We have him to thank for Spawn, but he knows that thanking the fans is incredibly important. It's, it's fun. It's, look, it's always good to glad hands. It's always good to glad hand the people who put money in your pocket, right? Every day of my life, I am completely aware that every single fan has made a decision to spend some of their hard-earned money in, in my direction or Image Comics direction, and so I'm completely thankful. I've seen other celebrities, I deal with people in Hollywood and sports that sometimes are off-put by their own fans. I, I, and I've had people like you interview, say, hey, what's the, what's the funniest, weirdest uh, question anybody's ever asked you? I've, I've never had a bad question because my attitude is if it's important enough for a fan to ask, it's important enough for me to, ask, to answer. Might not seem important to somebody else, but it's important to that individual. And oh, by the way, that individual helps put food on my table. So I'm, I'm completely enamored with anybody who decides to be a fan of anything that we do. Look, I'm, I'm not that far from Portland, right? And there's this big shoe company, and I think they came out with the best slogan ever. Just do it. And, and, and the answer is because, uh, look, our company goes up against Marvel and DC every day, right? And those companies are owned by Warner Brothers and Disney. Those are billion dollar giants. I've got a toy company, I go up against Hasbro and Mattel, right? You think those companies want somebody to come along and take any of their market share and do anything that's gonna, that's gonna hurt some of the, of course they don't, right? So all change, there's only one constant, two constants in humanity. One, you're going to die, and two, change. Those are the only two that have been happening nonstop, right? So, so bet between the two and the change, the change will always come from the outside. So what's going to happen is somebody comes in with a new idea, or you want to do something, you want to go up against the com competition, they're always going to tell you, oh, come on, you know, don't, don't rock the boat. Why do you want to do that? You know, don't make any waves. You know, just go status quo, status quo, status quo. And the change always has to come from the Steve Jobs of the world who are in a garage saying, I don't care what they say, I'm going to do it anyway. And then eventually, I'm not saying everybody that does something in a garage, but the odd person will go up and all of a sudden there's success and they show that it can be done a different way, right? So to me, biggest lie in the world is build it and they will come. Don't, don't listen to that one, right? Build it, find out where you're people are in the industry and or the fans are and go run in front of them and let them run into you like traffic like let them run over you because if you're going to try and get into a business but you are not going to advocate for yourself every single day there is no other person on this planet that's going to come looking for you right every day you got to get up and go i'm on a journey to basically get a yes and here's the thing assume they're going to say no and you never get a broken heart and so you're going to get a hundred no's in a row and then somebody's going to surprise you and say yes, and you're, it's going to be a great, great day. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of an odd guy. I don't read a lot of comic I'm a sports guy. I, do, I read a lot of sports. I uh, pay attention to the political landscape. And then I'm, you know, I, I, like, to, I like to watch movies and stuff like that. Uh, I play, I play board. In the last year. Oh, in the last year? Wow. Um, the last one I saw, like not long ago, was like Uncut Gems. I thought was really was really good. Uh, Queen and Slim, I thought was I thought was an interesting uh, movie. I'm a drama guy, which is weird because I do comic books. But I, when I go to movies, I don't want any special effects. I just want these super urban, you know, movies like The Departed, right? Uh, a couple of years ago, the movie The Lion was good. Babel, you know, The Insider. Right, of course, all the Godfather. I mean, I, I just, I'm, I'm like an R-rated drama movie. Sicario, Hell, you know, Hell, Hell or High Water, right? Wind River, all done by the same writer. Uh, like those are the movies that I like to, you know, Blood Diamond, just these dark, urban movies about humanity that depress my wife when she watches them with me. So she goes, now we're gonna watch a rom-com after this. Uh, but I, 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 I'm intrigued by the human id. I'm intrigued by humanity and how we treat each other. So,
You, no, I'm, we'll just go back to the same thing. Advocate for yourself. Nobody will advocate for you greater than you. And if you're shy, then it's not going to work. It's, uh, let, let me tell you, I, you will be an entrepreneur. You have the potential to be an entrepreneur if you can answer this one question. Have you ever been the first person on the dance floor? And if you've been the first person on a dance floor, you have the right mentality. Because it means you don't care what anybody else thinks about you in the room. But if you wait till there's 50 people on it so it's comfortable, so that nobody sees you and makes fun of you, you might not have the mentality to be an entrepreneur. You have to basically be able to turn away the opinion of others if you know you're doing something right. Yeah, absolutely. That's all I have for you. Thank sure. you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah.